There have been a number of improvements to wire EDM machining in feature cam. Uh, the first one that I'm going to show you is how we deal with inside and outside corners in a, a better manner to give you um, a more accurate shape. I have a curve here. I'm going to create a two axis punch feature from this curve and just finish. If I simulate this, you'll see that the wire goes around and cuts out the part. And there we have the shape. Now, when the wire is rolling around an outside corner, you may get um, erosion of the corner and end up with something that is less than sharp. And equally, when we're going around an inside corner, we may end up with a less than ideal shape. So we've added in some extra options to make these more accurate. If I open up the wire feature and go to the miscellaneous tab, you can now see that I can modify outside and inside corners. So for an outside corner, I can make them rounded. So if I wanted to have a clearance on those outside corners, I can put in an extra rounding tolerance so that I would have a clearance on the outsides but leave my inside corners sharp. I can also tell it that I want to have sharp outside corners. So instead of rolling around the corners or rounding them off, I can actually lift off and do a loop around off the part and then re-engage the part in a straight line, making sure that this corner is as sharp as possible. So you can see how the wire is actually looping around on and off the part, ensuring that the corner here is as sharp as possible. We also have some new options for inside corners. We can have a circular inside corner, in which case the corner will actually be relieved. So if you have matching parts, you're relieving the corner to allow the two to fit together with a clearance, like so. You can see here, there's a circular move being made to relieve that corner so the two parts could match together without interference in the corner. If we wish to have a very sharp inside corner, we can go for all this triangular option, in which case we're going to make something like a bow tie kind of a move in the corner. You would normally use this on a die to make sure that you had a sharp inside corner but basically we're making sure that we relieve this area here. And finally we have the option to do a rounded inside corner so this is where you don't want to have a sharp corner and you want the tool to go around in an arc rather than making a sharp corner 